Hey guys, I thought it was time that we had an update with our police officers. We have an amazing police department and I just wanted to get a little bit of an update. So I've got Detective Rao here. You are gonna give me some inside info on what's going on and we're gonna start with this beautiful vehicle behind me. I've been seeing a few around town. Tell me about it. Yes, ma'am. We just uh, we just got 10 new cars, uh, new Tahoes in that we're very proud of. Uh, we're going to continue to uh, to get more in as, as the years go by, but this is this is where we are now with these cars. So talk to me about the reason. We're used to seeing the silver Tahoes around, right. but now we're transitioning. Right. How come? From my understanding, they're doing away with the silver, and okay. this is what they're now producing in the uh, police Tahoes. Well, I think it looks really nice. I got to sit in it a little bit. It smells like a nice new car, so I know these officers are loving the new vehicles because you and I talked a little bit and you're, you told me, you know, there are times when that car doesn't shut off for 12 hours yes, during their shift, yes, right? Because yes. they've got their computers in there. Yes, ma'am, that's correct. We, uh, th it's basically like our rolling office. Right. Uh, you know, we can be in it for 12 hours a day and sometimes those cars don't, don't shut off. And um, it's, uh, it's our office and we live in it for 12 hours a day. Well, I know they're very thankful for a little new office space there, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. <laughs> I also wanted to talk to you. You guys had posted about some new training that you had done. And a lot of our area departments are doing this as well as some of our fire departments, but it's a, tr a sensory training um, with Culture City. Can you talk a little bit about it? Yes, yes. We just uh, we just got certified and I'm very proud to say that uh, all of our officers have now had this, uh, this great training, potentially life-saving training. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Do you, can you tell me a little bit about what will go into it? Are the officers going to be carrying sensory bags? Yes, like so we'll be carrying sensory bags. Uh, anytime that we uh, happen to come in contact with somebody that has a sensory issue, mm -hmm. uh, we have a sensory bag that we can uh, deploy one of those items to, uh, to help, uh, help us uh, get through that situation. Yeah, I think that's great. I think there are so many different situations that you probably come upon. You never know what to expect. So having something like that at your disposal is very important, not only to you, but those individuals and their families as well. Yes, ma'am, that is great. Okay, let's also talk about, now this blows my mind because you and I talked about the police station that you are currently in. That is great. Tell us what year that was built. 1953. That blows my mind. So obviously we have all seen this beautiful new building that is being built. Yes. What's the update progress going with that? Uh, right now, hopefully there's no more weather delays. Uh, we're looking at June of uh, next year that we can actually move in. Okay, so speaking from someone who is in the current <laughs> situation that you guys are in, what will this new building bring for you guys? It's going to be amazing. Uh, we will have basically everybody under one roof, so to speak, and it's only going to help us do our job uh, to help the citizens of Alabaster even even more. Yeah, because right now you're kind of all spread out in different areas. We are, yes, yes, ma'am. Because there's no way to house what you told me. There's what at least sixty yeah, yeah, plus officers. Right, right. Yeah. So uh, we we don't have anywhere we can put all those officers at one time. But yeah. now, hopefully, we will. Well, I am very excited to see it. I know the. The mock-up is absolutely beautiful, so, so deserved for you guys, Thank for you. sure, with how hard that you work. Now, we've got the holidays coming up, guys, and you know, the promenade's gonna be crazy. Everything, let's let's hope that we're all shopping Alabaster first and everything's gonna be crazy. Will you guys have an updated police presence? Yes, we will. We'll uh, increase our patrol by 300%, so don't let that alarm you should oh, you okay. see more officers than normal uh, out riding around. Not only will we have more uh, uniformed officers out, we also have uh, uh, plainclothes officers out uh, working okay. inside the store and outside the stores. Very good, will that be just kind of the promenade specific or uh, all over? A lot of our shopping areas. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I, we appreciate you guys. When everybody else is kind of slowing down for the holidays, I know you guys are just ramping it right up and we so appreciate the hard work and the protection for all of our citizens for sure. But I just, I'm thankful to you for getting out here with me, talking to the citizens, letting us know a little bit about what's going on with you guys and look for the new vehicles riding around, give our officers a wave, tell them thank you, buy them a coffee buy them a lunch, whatever, right? We're just good with a, with a wave. But you, you know what else to do, right? All right, we, got, we thank you so much. We're really appreciative thank of you all. guys. You guys have a happy holidays and stay safe.